James and the Diesel Engine. Class 40 is a large green diesel engine who works on the island of Sodor. When he first came to Sodor on trial, Class 40 was very rude, nasty, and racist, and none of the steam engines liked him. But ever since his return to Sodor, he's been a much more friendlier and polite engine. And although Class 40 had changed his ways, one engine didn't think so. Oh no, not that diesel cucumber again. Mm. Ah, hello James. Ah, uh, what do you want? Well, I, I was just saying hello and also good morning. Ha, <laughs> it would be a good morning if you didn't show up and start talking to me. But I- Just forget it. I know what you're up to and I'm not falling for it. Uh, oh. <laughs> <sighs> Need some help? Yes? Interesting. What? Mm. Hey, Thomas. Hi, Class 40. What's up with you? It's James. He still doesn't like me. Well, usually when it comes to diesels, James has a hard time accepting them. He's always at fear that they're out to get him, which could be the source of his anger and his tendency to lash out on engines. Ooh, but don't worry. I'm sure James will accept you at some point. It took him a while for him to accept nice diesels like Philip or Paxton or Sydney, but he soon did once they proved his trust. Oh, okay then. Thanks, Thomas. Anytime, Class 40. Uh, I kind of need some help here. Oh, sure. <laughs> Hello, sir. You wanted to see me? Ah, uh, Class 40. Yes, now. As promised, we might be able to allow you to stay and work on Sodor, but only if you prove yourself to be a trustworthy and useful engine. Oh, don't worry, sir. Trustworthy and useful are my middle names. Well, actually, my middle names are T261, the Diesel, and T4711. Anywho, I would like you to take those cars over there to the docks. Yes, sir. Right away, sir. Oh, and uh, by the way, before you leave, I would like to ask you something that I forgot to ask you in the last episode. Okay, and what is that? How did you end up on the mainland anyways? I thought that you would be in the no longer used character scrapyard. Oh yes, uh, about that sir, I was never sent to that place. You weren't? Nope. Oh. Uh, that means that Hit lied to me! They didn't get every single no longer used character in there! Is that why Scruffy's in that train? Hey! Oy vey. Anyways, I'll talk to you later, Class 40. See ya. Bye, sir. <laughs> Hello, Percy. Hey, Class 40. What brings you here to the docks? I'm just here to deliver these freight cars. Oh, okay. I'd be careful with talking to him, Percy, if I were you. Why? Because... You never know what he's secretly planning. What do you mean? He could be trying to manipulate you into trusting him. After all, it wouldn't be the first time that a diesel tries to manu- manipu- CRAP! Okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, okay. Let me try that again. Okay, take two. ACTION! He could be trying to manipulate you into trusting him. After all, it wouldn't be the first time that a diesel tries to manipulate you. But James, I'm not trying to Whoa! Oh. Don't worry about him. Sometimes it takes time for James to fully trust the Diesel, but I'm sure he will with you soon. <laughs> but Class 40 wasn't so sure, however, if James would. The next day, James was sent to take some cars to Crowen's Gate. However, he wasn't very pleased about it. Huh. I still don't understand why Sir Tom Hatt keeps on giving me these bogus tasks when he knows that I don't enjoy them. You can't have every job that you want to have, you know, James. Oh, shut up, Boombox. I was being sarcastic. What does sarcastic mean? 
It means to hurry up with my train or else you won't have the ability to talk anymore. Oh. You know, James, if you want, I could take your train to Craven's Gate. Why? Well, because I'm not really busy at the moment. Wait! I know why you want to pull my train. Well, I was about to tell you- You want to pull my train because you think I can't handle it because I'm a steam engine. What? No, well, go- Well, I'll show you who's the strongest around here. <laughs> Wait! James! You forgot your brake van! But James was already too far to hear. Classic Miller move. Don't worry, I'll bring it to him. James soon approached Gordon's Hill, but he still couldn't stop thinking about Class 40. Then, there was trouble. On! On! Faster! Faster! Yeah! Oh, for God's sake, I didn't even do anything to you guys this time! <laughs> James tried to apply his brakes, but the free cars were too heavy, which is surprising because he's only pulling six. What the heck? Then, there was more trouble. <gasps> well... Goodbye, Britain. Yeah! <laughs> oh. <sighs> what is wrong with you cars? You suicidal or something? No. Then why do you do this to yourselves? We don't rightly know. <laughs> James, are you okay? Huh, I... <laughs> I think so. How's my paintwork looking? I guess it's fine, because I don't see any wood chips on you. Oh, thank God. Don't worry, I'll go and fetch a crane. Do you even know where the cranes on Soto are located? You're still kind of new here, you know. Oh yeah, good point. Well, there's always this easy solution. We skip all of that and cut to the next thing of me helping you. What the... All right, nothing makes sense in this universe. Anyways, let's get you to the steamworks. Okay, but what about my freight train? Don't worry, I called a little friend to help you out. Wheels to the rails. Oh my god. Chuggington. Chugga, 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 chuggington. Well, sh Hey, Class 40. Yes? Thanks a lot for helping me out, but if you don't mind me asking, why though? What do you mean? I mean, I've been constantly rude to you these last few days and yet you still help me out. Why? Because I want to prove to you that I'm a changed diesel. No nasty diesel would have helped you out. Well, maybe. But only a friendly one would, like me. Thanks. Anytime. <sighs> uh, boss, could you please tell these attractive-looking men to get off of me, please? Oh, um, about that, Kevin. Remember a few days ago when I took that picture of you? Yes. Well, after I did that, I put it up on eBay and listed you for 30 bucks plus $12 in shipping, and some people bought you, and those people are the ones that are holding you right now. You sold me! Yes, $30 plus $12 in shipping, get over it. But, but I thought we were a thing, boss! We never were to begin with, big simpleton. <laughs> ah, hello, James, my friend. And who is that you're with? This is my new friend, Victor. His name is Class 40. He saved me after a nasty accident with some cars. Oh, did he now? Sounds like that you've been a really useful engine today, my friend. I completely agree, Victor. Really useful is what you are, Class 40. And what you've shown me this last few days and today proved to me that you deserve to stay on my railway. Oh, thank you, sir. Everyone silently cheered in the light. They were all happy for Class 40.
Wait, so you said that you sold Kevin for $30 plus $12 in shipping, yes? Don't you mean pounds? What's that? You said that you sold Kevin for $30 plus $12 in shipping, when really you sold him for 30 pounds plus 12 pounds. Excuse me? We live in the UK. Dollars are in America. We have pounds here in the UK. Ow! Shut up! Ow! <coughs> ah! Remember this, my friends. You mess with the cow, you get the udders. Ha! You just called yourself a female cow because female cows have udders. Don't make me get the gun! I'm sorry, that's what I thought.